I'm at PetSmart today getting my dog groomed. She seems super excited today. Uh, she doesn't know what's about to come because she actually hates getting groomed. But uh, I figured I would do a quick video. I've been getting the same question over and over, and that is what are the best catfish to get at PetSmart? And chances are you're probably looking for a bottom feeder, bottom dweller for your aquarium. And I'm gonna walk you through what are the best catfish, AKA bottom dwellers at PetSmart. What, what you gonna get your nails clipped? You're gonna get them clipped? She absolutely hates getting her nails clipped, so she has no idea what's going on right now. She actually will sometimes get so scared that she like pees on the on the, the stand that they... Ah, let's talk catfish in PetSmart. And you? What are we gonna do about you, huh? All right, let's do this. All right, so I dropped off the dog at the grooming section, and now we can find all the catfish that I can choose from. All right, it looks to be we have some koi fish, some comet goldfish, some fancy goldfish, and they do have a bunch of tanks. Looks like African cichlids, South American and Central American cichlids, and looks like some Oscars, some glowfish tanks. They do have a bunch of tanks, so this excites me. Maybe we're going to have a bunch of choices for catfish. I'm just trying to get a good idea where all the catfish are located so I can just kind of go through them and browse what our selections are. All right, so let's get this started. I got this figured out. First on the list is the Pictus catfish. This is kind of like a super fast moving catfish, super popular. It's a great choice, Pictus catfish. And it looks to be they grow around five inches long. The second choice is going to be the Eclipse catfish. I honestly don't know a lot about this catfish, but it looks to grow about five inches long in length. Super cool looking fish. And up next we have the Plecostomus. Uh, these are an awesome choice, but you have to know that they grow pretty large. And I would say if you don't have a 55 gallon tank, it's probably not going to be a good choice because they can grow up to like 18 inches long. Don't get me wrong, uh, common plecos are super awesome fish, but you just have to plan for them accordingly. And the clown pleco, just like the common pleco, and what else is here? I also see a hyphen spotted pleco, and it grows up to 18 inches. Like, isn't that insane? These things can just get crazy huge, so just plan that accordingly. And we also have the twig catfish. This is a very unique, somewhat new to PetSmart choice. And we have the Otto Sinkless. This is one of my personal favorites. Um, I've had some issues with them dying off from buying PetSmart. So just maybe know that you should uh, just be aware that they aren't the most sturdy of catfish. But once you get them in your tank and set up, they do great. What other catfish do we have here to choose from? I think we've listed six now. Um, ah, the Cory catfish. This is one of my personal, personal favorites. And I think, um, wow, look how many different types of Corys there are. And it's great because they love to be in groups. So I think this is a great choice. Um, the peppered Cory. And some of them are like dwarf style. So they grow a lot less in size than regular. Um, awesome fish. Very unique in personality. And... Pretty close all as far as pricing goes. You have the albino cory, the peppered cory, the julie cory. Um, these are awesome, awesome fish. Uh, guys, it's going to be a hard choice. So I just, I can't, what do I do? The question is, what is the best catfish to go with that pet smart? And it's a really good question. For a middle-sized aquarium, in my personal opinion, it's going to be the Cory catfish. Just because they only grow two to three inches and they're not going to add a lot more bio load to your fish tank like a lot of the other plecos that can grow huge in size will do. All right, so let's talk about some quick care on Cory catfish now that I've helped you make the decision that they're the best catfish to get at PetSmart. First of all, you're going to want to get a group of Corys. They do best in groups, I would say four to six of them. They do best in sand substrate. As you can see, they will constantly be sifting through the sand and it in turn helps your tank out. 
And uh, other than that, guys, just clean water, sand substrate, make sure they're in groups, and your and your quarries are going to do great. And also, don't get fish that are maybe aggressive towards them, because they are some of the nicest mannered fish on the planet. So, I want to give a shout out to Minty. Uh, that's her nickname for giving me, letting me use this video. She's one of my mods at Beta Fish Keepers Facebook group. Um, you can also join that if you want. But Cory's guys, there's tons and tons of different kinds. And what's cool about them is they only grow like two to three inches, which in turn makes it perfect for a smaller tank in size. A lot of the other catfish, like the common pleco, grow really large, and that's really not ideal for a medium-sized tank. Like, some of those plecos can grow, like, over a foot long, and if you're looking to add a catfish, that's just going to add to your bio load, and you're probably actually going to be worse off with a catfish like that than not having anything at all. And it's very common that people want a bottom feeder slash catfish to clean up all the you know, all the poop and stuff, but that's actually not the, it's not the case that never happens. There's not a fish on the planet that cleans up poop. Um, but yeah, hopefully this helps you in making this, making a decision for choosing a catfish from PetSmart. Hit up the comment section, guys. Let me know what you think. Like this vid and make sure to subscribe. All right, sweet.